Robots and Wizards, an investigation into natural human-robot interaction. The Factory of the Future, the so-called Smart Factory, relies on intelligent and globally networked systems. As part of the fourth industrial revolution, a new possibility for production was introduced, human-robot interaction. To enable collaboration and integrate humans into these smart surroundings, intelligent systems and sensors are needed. The development of such systems requires a lot of resources and testing, yet this does not guarantee a system with high user acceptability. One way to overcome this issue is to use the well-established method Wizard of Oz to evaluate and adapt existing unfinished systems. The subjects are tricked into thinking that they interact with the machine, and in reality they are interacting with the human operator instead. This methodology allows the use of technology as a rapid prototype that will be too costly to implement or is generally not available yet. The subjects were presented the system as Rosa, the robot system assistant. They were given three tasks, have Rosa give you a block, spell a specific word, and build a pyramid without instructions on how to interact with Rosa. Rosa is capable of recognizing speech, gesture, gaze, posture, and passive learning by repetition or being actively taught by explanation. We implemented our own Wizard of Oz framework in order to allow a restriction-free, multimodal human-robot interaction. The wizard, sitting in an isolated chamber, has full control over Rosa and interacts with the subject according to a strict set of rules. We gathered data from 36 test subjects and differentiated the interaction modalities between speech and gestures and their subcategories. We also looked at the impact of factors like unclear instructions, robot failures, teaching and if automatic pathfinding was used. To evaluate the user experience, subjects were asked to complete four questionnaires, still unaware that Rosa is not an AI system. The results of the experiment reveal a high affinity for direct voice commands, as 97% of the test subjects use it at least once. Most subjects also use pointing gestures as additional input. 89% of the users expected the system to complete the pathfinding for the robot, while fewer insisted to guide the robot manually. Passive learning capabilities of Rosa show a negative correlation with the score, whereas active teaching was perceived positively, although rarely used. The two-handed gesture users were usually more content with the system, but needed more time to complete the tasks. Occasional problems with the robot, like the gripper failure, did not show up as having an impact on the user experience. We asked the subjects to perform gestures for specific actions, which resulted in a catalogue. A system using the first two most popular choices would cover the majority of the users. Although, some actions seem to be harder to generalize. With these findings, we are currently developing new technologies to further improve the human-machine interaction.